Hello everybody, so today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about differential equation. So now I will show you how to answer. We divide both sides by dx. Next, we have s, y, and y. So this is about homogeneous. So I will put about y equals to vx. So if we do first the derivative for the both sides, we have dy over dx. So we do first the derivative of v, we have dv over dx multiplied by s plus first the derivative of s, you got number 1, so we have v. So we put this one. Ah, sorry, we put this one to replace this one. So that should be in here. Y, we change by Vs. We have S, S, and S. We simplify for the both sides. Next. We divide both sides by this one. So we put V go to the left. So we multiply by 2 plus 3V on numerator and denominator. This one, we will have 2v plus 3v square. v minus 2v, we have negative v. Negative with 3v square, we have negative 3v square. Next, the s and s we put on the left. This one we put on the right. So we will have about the s over s equals to negative v. Uh, sorry, two plus three v over negative v, negative three v square dv. So we put a negative on the left. So I need to arrange a little bit. Next, we put the integration for the both sides. Now, I will concentrate about this one. So, we can do about factorization in here. Next, we do about partial fractions. So I will put capital A over V, capital B over 3V plus 1. Next, we do common denominator. So we have A multiplied by 3V plus 1 and B multiplied by V. Next, we need to arrange based on the term of V. So we have 3A plus B and A in here. If we look carefully coefficient, we have 3V. That means 3A plus B equal to number 3, A equal to number 2. And now we have the system of equations. That's about 3a plus b equals to number 3 and a equal to number 2. 
So we have the solution of A and B. A equal to number 2. B equals to negative number 3. So we put number 2 and negative number 3 go in here. A is equal to number 2, B is equal to negative number 3. The interaction of this one, we will have about number 2 ln of the absolute value of V. The interaction of this one in here, we have negative ln of the absolute value of 3V plus 1. Because if we do first the first derivative of this one, you got about this one like this. And now we put about C. Now we return back to this one. So this one, that is about this one. This one, we have ln of the absolute value of S. About V, that is about this one. So we divide both sides by S. And we change V into Y over S. And this is the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.